Alright y'all, time for a new video from MC Flat Tobago Fishing. We're gonna be having a sit down edition talking about my rod, wheel, gear, everything. Not to mention you're gonna be seeing a brand new merch that I got from Kosem, from Kosem Fishing. So you all are gonna see what's in my backpack every day when I go out to the water. What I use, what I don't use, how I like to use them. You're gonna see my secret weapons. So intro drop. Yeah! yeah. Back to what I was saying, I want to take this time to let you guys know who taught me about rods and wheels and starting off. This is Kosem's Fishing. If y'all don't know who don't know who Kosem is, Kosem is one of the biggest um, anglers in Trinidad. He um, also my biggest inspiration alongside Kavi and Brett Thompson. Kosem was that guy who let me know what rod to get, what wheel to get, everything. He has his channel which has I think the most subscribers for fishing in the Caribbean. Check out this hat. Now this legend says that this hat from Kosem allows you to catch more fish, right? Once you utter the words fish on. Um, you could go on his page, you could get the hat. It's brand new, great quality. If you guys could feel that, very sturdy. He just chops a GoPro on here and it works. Check him out, Kosem. Fishing. Let's get into my gear. Now, I have three rods that I morally, I will have four rods, but I go with three rods mostly, right? Um, my nine foot rod, which is the augustic medium, which others use. Um, my six foot six rod, which is like my secondary rod, in case if anybody comes or if I come, she could use that. Then I, I have an 11 foot rod, that is big baby. That is for like heavy meat heavy laws i mean that thing throwing three to eight ounces so that that is plenty while my other rods could comfortably throw one ounce let me show you my wheel that i just mostly use this is the daiwa pg 3000 look at that here and this is currently spooled with 15 pound braid and it's a very thin 15 pound braid so it's very very light very thin so when i flick out a law it flies or, or weight it flies through the air because it's very light they, they, they braid by and it's like nothing there also i was lucky enough to get an extra spool so this spool now has 20 pound braid i'll put on a 20 pound braid if i'm fishing in the night or if i'm probably going out on a boat the casking megatron 3000 this goes on the six foot six um the reason why i go for the 3000 size and something the 4000 size is because of the weight i don't like to be flicking laws all day and the weight itself is heavy you know your arms gonna get tired this is virtually like you ain't feeling nothing it's like what 10 ounces let's talk about hooks right now funny that everybody over here well most people i think let's use j hooks which is the regular shape it's like a j hook right i am a bit different i don't really carry much j hooks with me i probably just carry like five j hooks with me right when i grain when i use in beat most of the time i use these these are what you call keel hooks right if you look at them they're very different to the regular j hook it doesn't look like a j exactly more curvy in back also i use these which is like circle hooks right now i have been doing some research and looking at videos and i realized people like Batman beach bomb they fish on the surf and they use these types of hooks right and the reason for that is that they say that the hooks hook themselves when a fish is feeding so if you're like me and you're not very confident in your hook set like when to time it because sometimes you can feel the fish nibbling and you might get you might get antsy you might get um you know you, 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 you might get eager and you just yank it you miss the fish or if you had been more patient with the fish these really help you literally wait for the fish to hook itself the fish will eat and pull and drag to the corner of the and you'll feel it swimming away with your setup and you just reel it back and that's it it's very very rewarding and it also very nice if you're putting your rod in a rod holder and you're setting it out it really helps that way you don't always have to be um you know had to be behind your rod all the time i use these these are called pyramid sinkers right in the surf why is pyramid sinkers important in the rough um in the surf i should say sorry um when 
they are set up is in the water, there's currents in the water and sometimes I don't know if you ever throw out something in the water and the waves push it back to shore. Right, a permit sinker will drop and dig in the sand and stay right there, which is great. So when all these smells and everything start to release from the bait, the fish will come right there and eat it. You don't, you don't have to worry about the, the, the waves or the current pushing the stuff right back to you on the sand. Let's talk about bait. Every time I go out fishing, I always carry bait. Right? I believe in trying to get two different types of bait because how I fish is I put two different hooks or two hooks so I put one type of bait down below and another type of bait on top to see which one they're really eating more and the two different smells does help attract the fish to me that's my opinion I don't know if it's a fact so most likely I'll use bonito put bonito below if I get mullet or something I'll put mullet on top sometimes I'll get hooked up on the mullet sometimes I get hooked up on the bonito Let's talk about laws. I use spoons, right? I use spoons a lot. I use jig spoons. These are jig spoons, right? Jig spoons. They look just like a bait fish. This look very real to me. It's very holographic. And you, they cast a mile, you flick it out, you slowly jig it back, and you get tons of hook up on it. Once you have the right gear, this is one ounce, 30 grams. I also use regular sp like spinning spoons like these. You flick it out and you retrieve it and it spins and glitter in the water looking like you know a bait fish trying to escape and they come and eat it. I've got a lot of things on these things. I've got snook, cavalli, you name it, I've got them. Also, um, I use these. This is like a minnow low, right? This is kind of big, this is a lot bigger than, than what I would like to use because once you have a big law, to me only big fish will really rush to hit it but once you have a small or big and small fish will hit it so it will benefit you more to try to throw as small a profile as possible I believe in balance, sometimes you might go out with laws, casting laws and they will be eating bait sometimes you will go out with bait and they will be eating laws I personally went out on these with bait and had no luck and the moment I try a spoon, hook up and vice versa, there are, there are days I go out and cast in laws and the minute I drop a piece of bait, nice hook up. Personally, law fishing is a lot better to me because you actually feel when I hit it because as, as you know, you're really thin, then you feel something pull you back, bang! That's the hookup. that's the feeling. Um, other than that, I have like poppers, um, giant spoon, look at this, this is a big spoon, big profile, big flash. So you know if something sees something like this spinning and flashing in the water, it will go crazy. Yeah, and that's basically everything I carry other than a cool, a little cooler um, with ice. You know, you carry a knife, you know, a hat. <laughs> carry a hat, the sun is hot to protect yourself. That's basically it. So those are the stuff that you could put or gather if you're making your trip out. It's better to go out prepared because you don't want to be out there without any proper gear. What if you hook up on something like a barracuda and you don't know how to hold it properly and you don't have any gloves, right? Um, better to be prepared. What if you go out there with very very light line and everything just it's just bursting because you don't have the right leader or your leader isn't abrasion resistant. You need to get leader. What if you go out there and you have egg sinkers? and the, the water is pushing it back to the shore so every time you flick out in like a minute it comes right back on shore so it really helps to um, have different options more or less to have a little bit of everything and that's what really makes a difference between that small one and that massive one so that has been a sit down fishing video with M. Stifler again inside my backpack what I carry I hope you all enjoyed the video Peace out.